head of lettuce in a recycled juice bottle. And that's how a husband and wife entrepreneur team uh, started their business. Now their produce is being served around town. Urban farming keeps getting more popular in Youngstown. It's where everyday people grow fresh vegetables in their backyard and sell them. We all know about outdoor farming, but now there's indoor urban farming. 27 First News reporter Julie Bursick introduces us to the couple. Julie? Yeah, Tom and Katie Phibbs are the brains behind the lettuce people. Now, they started out growing just one head of lettuce, and today they harvest hundreds. And now they're not growing this in the traditional way with soil. Instead, they're using other technology that lets them grow all year round. Crisp Cherokee lettuce grows in the basement of the Youngstown Kitchen Incubator. The space isn't huge, but the yield is in the hundreds. We harvest every week and we plant every week. Katie Phibbs designed and created the systems for lettuce to grow at her hydroponic farm. She uses water and LED lights to grow lettuce. It takes eight to ten weeks to produce each head of lettuce. In this kind of environment, we can produce ten times more lettuce in the same amount of space that you could if you were growing outside. Katie doesn't have to worry about drought or too much rain. She's able to grow all year round. She actually got into indoor farming when her field flooded. Now she turned it into a business, working with her husband, and they're at full capacity. It's about 300 heads a week. Um, so it's, it's, it's a, a lot of lettuce. <laughs> and it only takes about one gallon or less of water to grow just one head of lettuce. So that means they're using 98% less water right here inside. So we continuously capture that water and recirculate it through the system. Katie says farmers are interested in her year-round setup, and so is one school district. Youngstown City Schools has asked us to come out and work with their uh, K through sixth grade students in all six of the elementary schools. For Katie, that's what it's all about: teaching people how easy it is to grow your own food. Now, the lettuce people is actually available at four businesses here in the valley: at Magic Tree, Susie's Dogs and Drafts, Utulos. And also on the Lake to River Food Cooperative website. Now, the Fibs told me there are almost 100 varieties of lettuce, something I didn't know, but they're just going to stick to a few of them so they can have a constant rotation always out there. Dave and Erica? All right, looks good. Made me hungry for a salad. I know, it does look really tasty, nice doesn't it? Nice and fresh, too. Yeah, and it makes you think of the warmer weather that we're not seeing right now, right? <laughs>